The Key Watton is the last passenger vessel on the Great Lakes, and the last Edwardian-built passenger ship in the world. As of now, the vessel is waiting to be towed to its new home. So where is it moving to? What will it mean? Why is it being moved? And when? The Key Watton began its career in 1907. Remarkably, the ship's construction was completed in seven months, as it was ordered by the Canadian Pacific Steamship Company on December 22, 1906, to be built by Fairfield Shipping and Engineering in Scotland. The ship was launched on July 6, 1907, and set sail for Montreal, Canada on September 14, 1907. The Key Watton sailed until 1965. It was bought by R.J. Peterson in 1967, saving the vessel from an imminent end. Since then, it has been a marine museum. Currently, the ship claims Port McNichol as its home a place where it has served as a marine museum for 11 years. But now it will be moved to its soon-to-be new home in Kingston, Ontario. Here the ship will receive more exposure and the dry dock will be better fit to maintain the vessel. For residents of Port McNichol, it will be a sad day. Rallies have been held to keep Kiwatin home, but despite their efforts, the ship will be moved to Kingston. As far as its move to Kingston, Chris West, Marine Museum's board chair, said, quote, We're pleased to steward the Kiwatin through its next phase of life here in Kingston. The story of the Kiwatin is a story of Canada's creation as a country. It is vital that the ship, which is the last of its kind, will be preserved for current and future generations, and our museum has the expertise, facilities, and funding to be able to do this. End quote. As of now, the Molly M1 Tug is headed for Port McNichol to tow the Key Watton to Kingston, Ontario. Arrival is expected on the 24th. As far as when the Key Watton itself will arrive Kingston, Ontario, it is expected to arrive in early fall of this year. Anyway, subscribe for more updates, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.